In this demonstration, you'll learn how to compute the fatigue results for a simple tensile test experiment. Here you can see our problem definition. This slide shows the applied force and ultimate strength, as well as a table of alternating stress versus number of cycles to failure. I used finite element analysis and determined a maximum stress of 3.84 times 10 to the power of 8 pascals using this maximum stress value and a log-log interpolation on the SN curve, I manually calculated a theoretical fatigue life of 3338.93 cycles. I will now perform this analysis in ANSYS AIM. I'll start by selecting a simulation template from the study panel. I'm going to select the structural template and then select a static analysis. On the options list, I specify that I'd like to compute the fatigue results as part of the template process. I'll select the file for this tensile test specimen. AIM loads the geometry and sets up a simulation. AIM has automatically created the physics solution process. In addition to setting up the meshing, physics, and default results, AIM created a fatigue life result that uses default fatigue settings. I've also added a few boundary conditions, a support on this end of the tensile test specimen, and a force on the other end. I've also solved my physics. To perform a fatigue analysis, I need to know some basic material property information, such as the SN curve. I can then enter the SN curve information for the assigned materials by specifying the cycles versus alternating stress in the form of a table. These SN curve values are already defined for standard materials in AIM, such as structural steel and aluminum alloy. Now I'll click on the results task. You can see that three contour results have been created for me by the static structural template, including fatigue life. The settings used for fatigue calculations are defined here, in Fatigue Settings. When calculating fatigue, AIM uses by default the SN curve values defined for all of the materials assigned to the model. In Fatigue Settings, I could also modify a number of default specifications, such as loading type and mean stress theory. I will now evaluate and view my results. I will first take a look at equivalent stress. The maximum stress is in the stress concentration region, highlighted in red. This area is where we would expect to see the minimum fatigue life. And, as expected, the minimum fatigue life is also at the stress concentration region. I'm getting a value of 3059, which is close to the theoretical estimate of 3338 cycles. This default workflow is based on defining the SN curve values for specific materials. Note that I can also define SN curve values here that will be used for all materials in my model. In addition, if the SN curve data is unavailable, I can still perform a fatigue analysis by defining the ultimate strength. When you specify an ultimate strength value, AIM internally constructs a simplified SN curve using just the ultimate strength, as you can see here. This simplified curve is then sufficient to perform the fatigue analysis. Using the ultimate strength, I'm seeing a value of 2,395 cycles. This is slightly different from the theoretical expectation of 3,338. We received a much better result when using the actual SN curve values. In addition to fatigue life, you can also evaluate a number of other fatigue contours. This concludes this demonstration of fatigue analysis in AIM.